on, we have uh, Rudolf going next, the president of FIG. Go ahead, Rudolf. Thank you. <clears throat> so, second trial with my presentation. Welcome again to the sixth Young Surveyors Conference and to the first virtual conference. It's a pleasure for me to say a few words at this grand opening. So good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening to all of you. First of all, I would like to congratulate the organizer for this real global approach rallying around the world in four different, in four different sections. Very good. And I'm sure it will be a, a big success. Let me first of all talk about what is FIG. We are representing more than 100 member associations, a federation of national surveying associations. We are recognized by the United Nations and World Bank, and we are covering the whole range of professional fields within the global surveying and geospatial community. You can see them all here. It is important to note we are a non-commercial, non-governmental and non-political organization. What is the vision of the current term of office? Our vision is surveying is a modern profession acting worldwide for a better infrastructure for our society and planet Earth. We as FIG want to keep our position as premier non-governmental organization worldwide. The motto of our presidency is volunteering for the future. And if you see this, you probably have immediately two questions in mind. Why volunteering and volunteering for the future of what? Well, the second question is easy to answer for the future of FIG. But why volunteering? I observed over the last decades that the willingness and the readiness for volunteering for the society on a local, regional, national and international level is decreasing. But it's important. It's important that we volunteer. And it's not only important for FIG, I think it's important on all different levels of our society. How can we volunteer? There are different possibilities, for example, to be active for the FIG Young Surveyors, as you do. You can also participate in FIG events, you can promote, you can encourage others to participate, and you can support the next generation of FIG members. It is important to realize volunteering for the future of our federation means also volunteering for the profession, promoting the profession, volunteering for the society, because nowadays society has understood that geospatial data is important for the infrastructure. And last but not least, for the planet Earth, if you look at the sustainable development goals, 70% of them are directly re related to geodata and location-based data. There are different layers when we talk about volunteering. First of all, there is a the, the layer level of action. How to do, what to do, do the plan, realize it. But there is another one, the level of attitude. If you are volunteering, you have a positive relation to our environment and society. You see the benefit and the necessities and you contribute in a constructive way. Let's talk briefly about our e-working week, which will start within five weeks. And I hope to meet you all there. Here we have now a kind of repetition for this event, but in our working week, we have a five day program, three day technical program in different formats. And it was never 
so easy and less expensive to an attend an FIG working week. And less expensive means not only money, it means also time consumption. When a session starts at nine o'clock, you can get up at eight o'clock in the morning, you take your breakfast, you brush your teeth, and 30 seconds before the event, you lock on and the show starts. So my recommendation to you is have a look at the program before the week and make a plan where you want to attend. Otherwise, you maybe get lost in your daily routine and you have other duties. And this would be a pity. I hope to see you all there. And before we come to an end, uh, I would like to thank the organizers for their investment and for their ideas and for their sweat and work they invested. And I wish us all, as you can see, new ideas, interesting contacts, inspiring speeches, and of course, not to forget, a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you so much, Rudolf. Um... Okay, dear young surveyors, dear colleagues and friends, I'm uh, Vladimir Krupa. I'm a president of uh, CLGE. CLGE is the Council of European Geodetic Surveyors, leading uh, surveying association in in the Europe. It's my pleasure to take part of uh, to take part in the opening of this online sixth FIG conference with a nice title. Challenges in our new reality, reimagining a sustainable future. Yes, uh, we live in challenging times and everybody is more or less keeping their breath thinking what comes next and what can we do to prevail? These are important questions for young and old, but especially for you young professionals at the start of your career. CLGE has a long tradition of supporting the FIG Young Surveyors Network and we stay committed to this goal. We started with the European Student Meeting and see that this became a nice tradition now within the FIG. We have implemented the CLGE Students Contest who has gradually transformed towards a young surveyor contest and we will go on with this together with the GSA, now EU SPA. Also, we have integrated a delegate from your network to, to assist in our board meeting. After Eva Maria and Diana, it's fair now, your co-chair. And vice versa, whenever we could, we have sent somebody to your events in recent years, these were either the, our presidents or our long-standing vice president from Estonia, Myrol Kako. He has retired now from this position, but our commitment remains unbroken to you since we have appointed Yanis Kliver from Latvia to take over this task. We are particularly pleased about the subject you have chosen on this year's conference. It's in line with the Sustainable Development Goals 2040, and it will probably be necessary to keep the pressure on this kind of topics until 2040 and even beyond that. Actually, since a few years ago, CLGE is choosing Team of the Year. We are proposing it, it to the FIG and to the Forum of Regional Bodies and we are very happy that we find a lot of cooperation and support from them. In 2019, it was our year of professional ethic. 2020 was the start of our countdown for the Sustainable Development Goals. And this year is the year of women in surveying. What 
perfectly in line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals number five, gender equality. Do not misunderstand us. We don't want to have themes of the year and then forget them. On the contrary, we want people to remember these years and keep the topics they have learned about alive in their memories. This can be reached by thinking back every year about this series of topics and trying not to forget them in our daily routine. The word sustainability is one of the most important words of this century, I guess. Resilience is also fine, but it is a reaction. We, and especially you youngsters, have to go for it, not to wait what will happen next, but take you and our, your and our future in your hands and improve it. We at CLGE are thinking about it for a long time now. A few years ago, we have asked to enhance the fit for purpose model. We like this approach. It's the first thing a surveyor learns at university. Arrange your work to be fit for purpose. Don't over or undersize your efforts. So we like it and support it, but we also would like to bring the sustainability factor to the equation. For the sake of local surveyors, we believe that you have to plan more than what's fit for purpose now. Start with it, but be ready after a while to evolve because the purpose might shift and it would be a pity if you have to start it over again. Another example for us, among, among other international coalitions, including the International Property Measurement Standard Coalition, IPMS, and, uh, and the International Land Measurement Standards Coalition, ILMS. Our organization, CLG, is also active in the International Ethical Standards Coalition. We have revised the, this charter recently and our contribution was again to include the S of sustainability. For now, we were not successful in this re revision but we will prevail because we are convinced that this S is, the, is of the ut utmost importance. We have the feeling that sustainability follows the path of diversity, diversity, another important ethical principle that has been recently introduced. To get this done, you need people starting the lobbying work well in advance. Finally, I don't want to be too long, CLGE has decided to put its own house in order first. We have, for instance, started checking what we could do to, de to decrease the carbon footprint of our organization. The best start is being more thoughtful about energy consumption and our emissions. The second step is to, com to compensate the emissions that we cannot avoid. Hence, we started the cooperation with the Germany company called Atmosphere with fair ratten like fairness. We also try to have a snowball effects and ask other organizations to do the same. So my suggestion, why would FIG Young Surveys Network follow the same path? Fera, I let this idea in your hands and maybe it will percolate. Another sister organization of us has already adopted the scheme. The next phase for us is to analyze how individuals surveyors can adapt their processes to take part in the effort. This is an ongoing work and our another vice president, Mitalis Kalogannikit from Greece, have a nice, nice presentation about this topic in October last year. So, Enough words from me, the gray-haired man. I don't want to eat your speaking times. I only seize the opportunity to wish you very fruitful talks, a lot of follow-up online meetings. This is also good for your footprint. But also, I wish you once in a while nice live meetings very soon. I urge you, or better, I challenge you not only to reimagine the future, but also to shape it with your hands. Thank you.
Okay, thank you very much, Shirley. And um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day to everyone, wherever you are. So just to introduce myself, I'm Kwabno Biesiyama and I'm the uh, chair of the FIG Young Surveyors Network. I was about to say vice chair. Um, and I'm very glad that all of you are joining us today. And so today uh, for the grand opening, we're just gonna give you an overview of the network and then the conference itself, as well as um, the regional networks, which are involved in this particular session. So um, for this particular conference, a lot of um, things have gone on over the past two years, especially with the COVID pandemic, which uh, unfortunately has not allowed us to meet uh, together as we do before and even uh, have some dance in the middle to sort of ginger things up. But then uh, luckily um, the local organizing committee in the Netherlands has always been for two years con uh, consecutively have always been willing to um, join us to help set up this conference. And so we are very happy for um, that they've, they've, they're helping us with this. So this conference is an online conference, which is hosted by the Netherlands. So um, for today's, for today's program, um, we have uh, Shelly Chapunza, who, you, who introduced herself before, who is the representative for the FIG African Network, leading the program. But then with me as chair of YSN and Farah also assisting her with it. So who is a young surveyor and who can be active in a young surveyors network? Well, um, just to get a little schematic of, of it, we have um, to be a young surveyor, there are two ways that you can qualify for this. But first you have to be below the age of 35. And then after this, um, you, you have to first either be a student of um, a surveying or related profession. And then in this case, you are a young surveyor uh, through the student path. Or if you are not a student, you have to be within 10 years of graduation of, from, your, um, from a related bachelor or master's degree program and then you should always also be a professional of a surveying or related discipline then in that case you will be a young surveying professional so um once you qualify for this how then do you become active how then do you become a uh, an fig young surveyor well there is actually no uh, no formal process to be and so we just encourage everyone who is who fits the description that I, I, I provided to be active in our network. So to become active, well, first and foremost, we encourage you to get into contact with your national surveying association, who are usually FIG um, member, member associations as a path to become active in the network. And then after that, you can join any and all, all of our social media channels, which I'll, I'll show to you at the end of this conference. And then last but not the least, you can also send us an email to give us all your ideas and let us know what we can, uh, we can also do better for our network. Now, um, and joining the network also, you don't, it doesn't have to be in the, in the global sense. As, as I mentioned before, Shelly is a representative of the African network. And so here we have five different uh, in the FIG Young Surveyors Network. You have the um, North American network, you have the South American network, you have the Asia and the Pacific network, and then the African and then the European network, which we are in right now. And um, we, I'll just go on to talk about the African network for a little bit. So the African network started meeting informally somewhere around 2013, but then uh, it was not until 2018 when we have our, had our first um, Young Surveyors African meeting in Botswana and it was great, the sun was great. So many Young Surveyors from all over Africa joined us. And then it set the stage for the next meeting the following year to have the second Young Surveyors African meeting in Dakar in Senegal. And in that case, it was actually a bilingual conference with um, the Francophone, uh, Federation of Francophone Surveyors Young, uh, Young Surveyors Network. However, next year, hopefully, 
the African Network is going to host the next um, Young Surveyors Conference. That's the seventh Young Surveyors Conference in Cape Town of the next um, FIG Congress in, in Cape Town. So we hope that we'll be able to meet you all in person then and then and then be able to have as much fun, of, fun as possible and network and uh, get to know each other better. So next we go to the European network and then I'll have Farah, who is the CLG representative, tell us about it. Farah. Thanks, KB. Yes, and since uh, 2012, Young Surveys European meetings uh, and conferences were organized in a different country each year. Uh, last face-to-face -face event was held in Porto in 2019. Uh, and for the future events, please check our social media accounts about the news. Also, uh, Young Surveys Network is connected to several organizations. We have a European representative, Vitency LGE, and working with them with several projects like uh, CLG student contests and blue parking projects. Uh, we are also a mem member of Sustainable Development Solutions Network Youth, and we have been collaborating with uh, International Geodetic Student Organization. Thank you.